Now to the coronavirus. Thousands of additional people are now eligible for a COVID shot on both sides of the state line. Starting today, anyone over the age of 16 can get vaccinated in Kansas. Missouri started phase two of its vaccine rollout today. That means people in construction, manufacturing, higher education, and other sectors are eligible. Vaccines should be open to all Missouri adults by April 9th. KMBC 9's Jackson Kurtz talked to one health care provider in Kansas and learned they're relieved to get more doses. Honestly, it's a, it's a relief. For Vibrant Health in Wyandotte County, allowing more Kansans to get the vaccine is welcome news. More access in Wyandotte County, just in total raw numbers of doses coming into the community is fantastic. Vibrant is one of many community health centers receiving more vaccine doses from the federal government. The Kansas City, Kansas healthcare provider plans to open a new vaccine clinic with Children's Mercy, along with using a mobile vaccination unit to distribute the vaccine to more people. Keeping track of and trying to manage the criteria and the phases and who fits and who doesn't fit can put organizations and decision makers in a really tough spot. And this puts us in a spot to just give it to anybody that wants it. Vibrant says vaccinating a community like Wyandotte County that has been disproportionately impacted by COVID is crucial to keep everyone protected from the virus. When we have been able to send out messages to our patients and, and inquire about their interests, we get a, a significant response. We can target the people in the most need. In Wyandotte County, Jackson Kurtz, KNBC 9 News. Some community health centers in Missouri will get more money to expand vaccinations. Those clinics are listed on your screen. Congressman Emanuel Cleaver says the Kansas City area will get nearly $21 million from the American Rescue Plan. The money will also help pay for more COVID testing and treatment. Here's a look at the vaccination rate in our area. According to the CDC, more than 29% of the people in Kansas have at least one dose. In Missouri, it's 24.9%. That's about the same as the nation wide rate at 28.2%. The director of the CDC is begging all of us not to let our guard down. She feels impending doom when looking at the possibility of another surge in cases. I'm asking you to just hold on a little longer to get vaccinated when you can so that all of those people that we all love will still be here when this pandemic ends. Despite that warning, businesses in Jackson County, Missouri, return to full capacity before most adults in Missouri can get a vaccine. KMBC 9's Brian Johnson looks at what precautions companies will keep so customers feel safe. At Los Cabos Mexican Grill and Cantina in Independence, the general manager says as more people get their vaccines, he's seen attendance increase. So whatever it takes for our guests to feel comfortable co coming here, you know, our company is going to follow that suit and also that they feel good about it. It's been a year of precautions, plexiglass separating customers, social distancing, sanitizing and masks. In a week, the restaurant will reopen its outdoor cabana. I feel like they're in the outdoor. Many people haven't dined in at a restaurant in a year. That's why the Chamber of Commerce says even when masks aren't required, many companies may keep using them. None of us want to go backwards. Backwards is not good. It hurts our community. It hurts our economy. And uh, we're going to get there uh, just a little more patient. Other things will stay forever. Deliveries are now a big part of the restaurant business. Everyone has gotten so accustomed to that for over the last year. That's never going to go away. Companies will do what it takes to return safely to 100% capacity. We're really excited about that happening so we can continue to, to serve our public and to meet their needs because as we talked about, you know, they're very excited to get out. In Independence, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. The Health Department in Independence hasn't set a date to return businesses to 100% capacity. It will review its recommendations April 7th.